Hey everybody, this is Devin with Excel Events. I'm an account manager here, and today I'm going to walk you through the company details tab of the My Booth page. The first thing you'll notice is the live stream. Andrew actually covers this in a separate tutorial, so I'm going to move on to the general area. The general area is where you'll update your imagery, the first thing being your logo, and the second being your expo card image. The expo card image is what is displayed in the virtual expo hall, and that's how attendees will access your booth. If you'd like to add a short description for attendees to view when they hover over your expo card, no problem. You can do that here. And you also have the ability to customize your booth name color and your short description color on the expo card. What I love about these tools is they are code friendly. So if you know the hex color code for your brand, all you need to do is enter it here and our system will find it for you. Once you've set up your expo card image and logo, uh, you'll go ahead and add your social media links. Uh, here we support Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Whenever you apply a link to one of these fields, the social media icon will appear in the booth. Any links you don't provide, that social media icon will not appear at all. Once you've added your social media links, you do have the ability to upload documents that attendees can download to their device right from your booth. You can also do this through links. So if you have a Google Doc or any kind of document that's attached to a URL, no problem, you can add it here and you can actually label that link whatever you'd like. Once you've added your documents and links, you can go ahead and work on some of the labels here. Uh, so when you add team members to your booth, they are listed as company representatives. If you'd like to customize what you call your team, you can do so in this customizable field where it says Excel events representatives. Just below that, we do have the ability to enable or disable the call to action button. This will be enabled by default and we highly recommend it. Um, you do have the ability to attach a URL to this button um, and customize the text of this button. So here we are booking, you know, offering to book a demo and that leads to our sign up page for the demo. When an attendee clicks on this call to action button, it will generate a lead in the system and it will take them uh, to that page that you've applied. If you don't wanna use the URL and you just want the button to serve as you know, submit your information, no problem, you can do that as well. Once you've set up your call to action button and the confirmation message that lets attendees know it was successful, um, you do have the ability to add your exhibitor description. So this is the meat and potatoes, of course, of the booth. Uh, this is where you'll add all the information about your brand and you can do so um, utilizing, um, you know, multiple custom colors, uh, fonts and adding images, video. You can also embed code and hyperlinks if desired. We have the same capability here for our offer page. Uh, so if you have a special promotion, um, you know, for the attendees of, you know, this event, you can add that information here. It will be dedicated to its own tab within your booth, and then you can provide a specific link related to that offer as well. Once you've filled out those two areas, you'll find the promo video URL. This is just a video tab for you to put additional content for your attendees to check out. So if you have a promotional video, um, put that YouTube, Vimeo, whatever link you have for it here, and this will display and start playing automatically when they enter that video tab of your booth. So once you've entered all of your content, you do have the ability to manage the tabs. So when I enter the booth here, the first thing attendees are going to see is the live stream, then the option to go to the details, video, offer, etc. If you'd like the company details tab to be first and that's your exhibitor description, you just go ahead and move that up and that's actually what attendees will see first upon entry to the booth. You can also customize what this is called. So if you'd like to change company details to something like about us, no problem, you can do that here and submit and we'll update that tab name for you.